Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Sephora Beauty Box. So this is my March picks. And it's been ages since I've actually picked up one of these boxes. I say a box, obviously it is a bag. But yeah, it's been such a long time. And that's because there's not really been much of a product selection recently. I feel like it's kind of dwindling a little bit. And I hope it's not because it started off so, so good. There were so many products and they kept adding new ones. And now I, like, I do check on it quite a lot. And there's just not really much going on. So I'm glad I'm not subscribed long term at the moment. But yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. So anyway, this... Ooh, Put myself in the eye. So anyway, this is my picks for March. Um, I also got the little bag this month as well. And yeah, if you are new to this box, it is a monthly subscription. You can subscribe for 12 months, for three, six, and nine, I think it is as well. And like with all boxes, the longer you subscribe for, the cheaper it is. Um, they always have a little promo on as well if you want to subscribe for 12 months. So if you buy this just on a rolling basis, it's £13.95 and you get like miniatures, not like your freebie samples, but slightly bigger. So you can actually try the products and then if you like them, buy the full size. They do still have like the pick and mix where you pick actual samples, where some of them come in like sachets, um, but some of them are just very, very small little packets. But this is this is the actual beauty box. Now, yeah, if you buy this on its own, it's £13.95. If you do three months, it's thirteen fifty a month. Uh, six months is twelve seventy five a month, and twelve months is eleven ninety five a month. But there is a promo on at the moment, which means that you get your first box for only two ninety five. Now, when they had more products, this is one that I would have subscribed for, like twelve months. Um, but obviously, I have a lot of products anyway to get through, so that's the only reason I didn't. And they used to have like five different pages of products to go through. Um, but when you look through now, there's only like two pages, I think. Yeah, right now there's two pages, and a lot of the products are products that have been there for ages. But these are all the products that are there right now. Um, I'll link this down below if you do want to have a look and check it out. Because if you've not tried these products before, this is a great way to try them. Um, but when I've seen these like on repeat now for months, I'm just not really interested in them. Anyway, I checked this month and I saw that there were a couple of products at the top that I was interested in. So I thought, you know what, I'll pick it up. I had £5 credit on my account because when you spend £75 on Sephora, you get £5 credit. So I just use that. So it cost me £8.95 including postage took a few days to arrive and yeah I also clicked to get the bag as well you don't have to get this bag every time um but yeah they come in handy for bits and bobs so yeah so this is what I picked I did expect some of these to be a little bit bigger I must admit but they're not they're quite small just drop them all over the place okay so the first product the first product is one of my faves and I picked it up because I just love it and I thought I'm gonna get some more of it and this is the Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum now I actually tried this I think it was in this box over a year ago, maybe even longer, or maybe it was in maybe it was in an advent calendar. Anyway, I tried this miniature and I absolutely loved it and I ended up buying the full size of it, which you can see here somewhere. Yeah, there. The full size is £70, which is obviously quite expensive for a serum when you've not tried it before. So the miniature was great to try it. This is my favourite retinol product, like, so far that I've tried. I think it is amazing and I absolutely love it. I have stopped using it Oh, my light's just gone off. I have used it less recently because my skin is a little bit dry. So I've just taken a slight break, but this is always handy, especially when we're like going away for the weekend and we have a few weekends and stuff planned over the next few months. So I thought, well, this is going to be fab just to pop in my bag with me instead of taking the full size one. Yeah, I really like this product. This isn't actually too drying. I said that I've kind of taken a step back because my skin is dry, but that's more of a precaution. Like this doesn't make my skin dry at all, but I just don't want to over sensitize it. Is that the word? I don't want to irritate it too much by putting actives and things on it when it is dry. So that's the reason why. This didn't make my skin dry. This is really nice. So yeah, I love this one. Um, it's like a tiny little one, but fab to try. Next, uh, the other product which was at the top was this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Colour Pencil. Yeah, in the shade Graphite. Just say free sample, not for resale. Not for sale. But I thought I would try it. So this is what the packaging looks like. I do like a good eyeliner and I thought, well... It's been ages since I've tried a Makeup Forever product. I think I had the foundation when I was like 18. Why are these so hard to open? I just filmed a Primark beauty video and it took me literally 20 minutes to get in the eyebrow pencil. At least this has a perforated bit. Okay, so. Ooh, looks a little bit melted on the top, but that's okay. Um, this is the nib. Looks quite creamy. Oh, it's definitely creamy. Ooh. Look at that. So this is more. Oh, it's very smudgy as well. So this would be good if you're doing a bit of a smoky eye look. You could do it on top of your lash line. Um, or underneath the lash line. That bit's broken off now, but I'm just gonna put it back in there, it's fine. Um, yeah, it feels quite nice. I'll give it one a go. 
I'll wipe that off now before it gets everywhere. Okay, the next product is a cleansing, yeah, this one here. Uh, cleansing soothing oil from Uriage. Uriage, I don't know how you say that. Never heard of this brand before. I thought that's new, I will try it. Um, yeah, cleansing soothing oil that cleanses, replenishes lipids and protects. So it kind of sounded a little bit like the SVR cleanser. You know, the, the oil cleanser from SVR, which I've had as a sample from Sephora in this box before, and it's been like the 100 ml, and it's been amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, so I thought this is kind of a similar thing, and I expected that size. Oh, it's not, it's this size. This is like one use. This is teeny, teeny tiny little cleanser. But I'll still try it and see what I think of it. Yeah, never heard of it before. So it's fragrance free, you can use it on the face or body. So yeah, tiny little sample of that, but that's okay. Um, and then the last two products I've picked are actually both SVR. Now I like SVR, it's one of those brands that's just, for me, it kind of came out of nowhere and it wasn't really like hyped up that much. Um, but then I obviously tried the eye cream, I've tried the cleanser and I love them, they've been really nice. So I picked up the Clarial Serum, Complete Corrector Anti-Brown Spot Radiance. This teeny little one here. Um, yeah, so I picked this one up. So I'm not sure what this will be like. It's a deep pigmenting complex plus vitamin C 10%. Uh, you can use it on all skin types, even sensitive skin. Apply morning and or evening before your cream. And then avoid sun exposure. So obviously it's got vitamin C in it. Brightening. Yeah, I will see what I think about that. Um, and then the final product is also SVR. And this is a... 20% optimised vitamin C ampule. And I just got this because I thought this sounds different, this sounds interesting. It says it's regenerating, it's anti wrinkles, apply before your daily skincare, avoid the eye contour. So I'm going to assume that means on cleansed skin, apply this, so clean your skin, then pop this on. Um, but it just looks like a vitamin C serum. Um, I will Google all these before I use them just to make sure I'm using it correctly um, and not with any products that it won't work with. But yeah, that's a better size, especially for a serum, because you probably only need a couple of drops, um, which is, that's fine, that will last a long time than compared with this, which is just teeny. And yeah, that, that's three mil teeny as well, but I can give them a go anyway. Um, so yeah, so those are the five products I picked up this month from Sephora. Yeah, I'm just not really impressed with it at the moment. I just thought I will pick them up and try them anyway. Um, but yeah, if you are subscribed to the Sephora Beauty Box, let me know what you picked this month. Um, or let me know if you got a random box and let me know what you thought of them. Um, but I just feel like it's gone a bit downhill with the lack of product selection. It would be nice to see some new products, especially since they've now launched more and more products in the UK. Like there's a few new products on there, which were just like, I think US products, which are now on our website, which is exciting. It'd be nice to see some of those miniatures in here as well, or just some miniatures many of the other brands on the website but yeah so those are my picks um if you are interested in trying some products like i said there are still two pages of products if you've not tried any of these before if you've not subscribed before you can definitely get a few months without that and not get bored but if you are like a bit of a longer term subscriber there's less and less choice it's just tricky isn't it let me know all your thoughts on my picks let me know what you picked if you did pick it and yeah leave me a comment down below don't forget to click the like button if you did enjoy this video and hit subscribe and i'll see you soon for another video